No, it's not that I dislike it. I just, it just doesn't occur to me. Why is that? I suppose it's because it didn't happen that often. Did it never occur to you? When I was younger. Where's the girl? What girl? The girl who used to spiral through the fields, barefoot, her hair falling wild. Leaving homemade valentines for boys on their doorsteps. She went to an all-female prep school. Studied journalism. Worked hard. Met who she thought was the perfect man. And forgot to have fun on the way. I have fun. Let us redefine fun. That slightly tipsy feeling you get after your third sip of champagne. When you feel as if you could try anything. You are not afraid. That is the feeling I am searching for for you. Maybe I should just start drinking. <laughs> you have been serious and responsible most of your life. Yes. It comes naturally to me. I mean, I never worried about competing for boys. I worried about setting the grade curve. I understand that. I even admire it. But as a career woman, you have been forced to take on certain male traits. You feel if you showed your sexuality. You will not be taken seriously. So, Joanna, it is time to shed this. Especially after hours. I really don't think I can. It's who I am. You're right. You can't. I can't. But Mrs. X can. You will not be Joanna. You will be Mrs. X. And she can do whatever the hell she wants. She is a clean slate. Mrs. X. I do not have to teach Mrs. X how to walk into Maxim's or how to go to the Elysee Palace. She is already cultured, well-spoken, has perfect manners. She's ahead of the game, but for play, intimacy, how to get what you want from a man. This I can teach her. How? First, Appearances are important. They always have been, and they always will be. And Mrs. X, they needed a new angle. Hervé 